All right, so I mentioned before here that we're gonna talk a little bit about API Gateway versus API Security. Um, this is an interesting topic right now. Um, it's even not very well understood across our customer base as well as even within Imperva. So to demystify it for you, the way that we view it personally is API gateways in terms of what we see them good at. Um, API lifecycle management is really the first and foremost thing. If you think about how you deploy and manage APIs, there's a life cycle to how you manage that lifespan, how you do version controlling and upgrades and things like that. Um, API gateways are really good at this. It is very security, security related. It's, we talk about API security. Uh, API gateways tend to be the place where a lot of our customers will implement their authentication and authorization uh, controls. Um, there's some nuances to this topic and we'll go into detail in some of the nuances in a follow-up session, um, but I just want to put that in that category. Uh, general mediation. So how do you actually communicate to the backend services that are powering the API, as well as how do you control the different types of content that you have to work with? Some API gateways will do things like if the request comes back in as, or if the, uh, the content type that is uh, requested is uh, application XML versus application JSON, they'll actually do the transformations for you. Um, so some API gateways will manage things like that, but more often than not, as you're looking to span out and to connect to different services, this is really where API gateways are good at. So some of the routing and plumbing capabilities. And last but not least, we have monetization. So monetization is something that a lot of organizations are looking at their APIs for. They're now not just saying, I wanna make this API available to my customers, but I also wanna manage the consumption of that API, and I wanna bill based on how people are accessing that. Uh, so that monetization capability is really something that API gateways are really, really well suited for. Now, interestingly, there's a constant question that comes up that we get all the time, which is basically, if someone goes over a quota or a limit, where do I block that? Now we view that as really something that's a more use case that's specific and driven more towards API gateways. And the reason why is because ultimately you hold that authentication and authorization capability. And so you have much greater context in terms of who the user actually is. And so making those decisions makes more sense. It's a business decision to stop that user there. So we would generally look at doing that directly within the API gateway. Now, that's not to be said that API security isn't capable of doing this, uh, but where we see API security really coming in is more around exploit defense. So as you have vulnerabilities that are out there, as we're trying to protect against them, um, being able to stop those types of vulnerabilities is where API security capabilities are really key. Um, similarly, if we look at attacks, layer three, four, and seven DDoS mitigation, is another huge area where API security specific solutions are going to really excel. API abuse is something that I mentioned before. Um, a little bit in terms of the abuse and the monetization capabilities. Um, there's some overlap in there, but ultimately we're looking at things like scraping, uh, rapid iteration through APIs, um, and even just people coming in and connecting from sources that they shouldn't be connecting in from. Uh, if you have an API that is exposing sensitive data, you probably don't want to allow connections coming in from Tor networks and anonymous proxies. Um, those are the types of abuse scenarios and use cases that we want to be able to stop at the API security layer as opposed to the API gateway. What you need to be able to do that is you need a robust threat reputation database to be able to actually key in off of those types of clients. And last but not least, data theft. This is really, really a big topic for us right now internally within Imperva. We're working on some new innovative solutions around this area. I'm not gonna share too much today around this because we're gonna be talking about this a lot in the coming months, um, but we're really excited about some of the capabilities that we're developing and how we're really viewing our API security strategy beginning to evolve. Now, last but not least, I mentioned API gateway versus API security. The truth is we love API gateways. We don't see these two as being something that is, should be independent of one another. Uh, we view them some, as something that really work in tandem together. Uh, it's not an either or, it's an and question. Um, API security solutions work great with API gateways. Um, I view personally API gateways almost similar to how I view the relationship between a WAF and a web server. Uh, they really go hand in hand together and it's something that we don't actually view as competing solutions.